So my name is Philippe Lambin. I'm a radiation oncologist by training, Belgian, but working in Maastricht University. My name is uh, Jochen Waltz. I'm a urologist working at the Institut Institu Paul Met uh, Cancer Center in Marseille. So the key message is that there are quantitative data in e medical images. At the moment, uh, medical images are most considered as pictures, like family pictures, and they evaluate subjectively. When you look at uh, radiology reports, there are very few numbers in it. There were usually no confidence interval. And now we are transitioning to a world of big data, uh, quantitative imaging, and we can extract actually much more information from uh, medical imaging when we use the, uh, the correct procedure. I think we have some pertinent questions in the management of prostate cancer currently. The first one being diagnosis, diagnose the disease at the very beginning, then characterize the, the disease to know if it is advanced disease, aggressive disease, metastatic disease. And then also the question which I think will be even more important in the future is how to monitor disease, how to treat disease, how to make sure that the treatment that we offer is effective. And when it comes to the diagnosis, we have the big problem that uh, MR is very heterogeneous with regards of the quality. And my hopes are that radiomics might be a solution here to get uh, stable quality available in the general population. And that is probably one of the research priorities that we should follow in the near time. Right, so I think um, we need to now have access to a large amount of data. And with the new GDPR law, that's not obvious. Uh, in an ideal world, we would like also to systematically integrate radiomics endpoint in uh, all the clinical trials because all the clinical trials with prostate cancer have some type of imaging and by uh, integrating them and trying to standardize the way this imaging is acquired, we could do very interesting uh, radiomic studies which hopefully long term will have impact on the daily practice. Because the performance of the diagnostic tests will be reproducible. So we currently have data that is very promising coming from expert centers, but to have this experience and this performance then exported to the general patient in the general hospital and the general population, that is where we currently are struggling. And if we get something objective in there, something that is automized, where it's not dependent on the expertise of a certain radiologist or the expertise of a certain center, then I think we definitely improve the, the, the care of an entire population uh, or Europe or whatever you, you want to, to, to put the scale on. And that is something we need to work on and see the standardization is very important and also like the, the becoming independent of the, the personal performance. I think uh, moving toward um, quantitative MR, I think, and, and try to standardize protocols. Uh, and also we would like to stimulate vendors to try to uh, open the, the black box because at the moment when you compare the MR of Siemens, G, Philips, they are very different and, and it makes uh, radiomic studies a little bit more complicated.